What's up, guys? This is um, a daily update. Well, not daily. This is an update for the Divine Masculine. I'm Ashley Gillard, and I am here with the message. So, the overall energy of this reading, we have from nothing to everything. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, sacred convergence is right out there. We have never give up on something you really want. Right under there is about meeting your soulmate and loving yourself. And we have the Five of Pentacles coupled with the Eight of Swords. This is about the masculine. Again, this doesn't have to be a male or female. I honestly resonate with this reading. This is about um, the energy of your masculine energy. Using your masculine energy or being in your masculine energy to overcome an obstacle, to to free yourself. This is about freedom and walking away from poverty, rocking, walking away from lack, walking away from things that no longer serve you, loving yourself, and um, yeah, self-love and becoming one with yourself and the divine the ascendant masters and divine guys, divine feminine, and walking away from everything that does not resonate with self-love and self-mastery in, in your destiny. So our masculines are about to go from nothing to everything. Let's look at this. You cannot make this stuff up. I'm sorry for saying that because everybody says it. But you cannot make this up. Walking away from lack and going from nothing to everything. So this is what the energy of this reading is about. The masculine knows that life is literally with the world card being the first card the life is in his or her hands and they're about to go from nothing to everything because they're walking away from things that don't serve them and loving on themselves and being one in the in the wave of love being one with the feminine energy being one with the universe knowing that your energy is being not only matched but it's going to be synergetic results the energy you put in to free yourself for liberation for love self-love is going to be returned to you because you're in a creative flow of the universe to create a flow of love and it's going to be the uprising of the masculine or the uprising of your life. The first card we have is the world. How perfect is that? This is master. This is self-mastery. This is manifestation of blessings. This is manifestation of divine destiny. This is manifestation of more life and light for the masculine because he or she used strength to overcome the obstacles. They remain strong and overcame an obstacle. Or are going to continue to remain strong to overcome this obstacle because they know that the world is right there. It's like spiritual warfare. But you won. So our masculine has mastered the feminine energy and become one with the feminine energy. And is using that to that power to overcome the obstacle and master the world. And that's, the, that's blessings. That's physical blessings, spiritual blessings. Because, again, it's from nothing to everything. It's because you're entitled to it at this point in this journey. Then it is the Ten of Pentacles. This is entering a new phase of life. And it's coupled with the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Now that you've overcome the obstacle of lack, you've overcame entrapment. The masculine has overcome entrapment and lack and didn't give up. Now, the next phase is the stars have a line for you. The stars are already aligned for our, our masculines because this is where the masculine has already mastered their feminine, become one with their feminine and God. So now it's like next phase, you overcome this obstacle, the world is in your hands, and then you, you build. It's like abundance and building. Notice these two cards are alone, but this card um, entering a new phase of life. It's also alone as well. This is three different phases, like going from this phase to this phase to this phase. But building, abundance and building for yourself. Um, the stars aligning. Everything you touch turn to gold. So it's like entering that next phase of life that's more abundant. That, you know, you no longer have to worry about being entrapped. You no longer have to worry about financial lack because you're free. And the, right, and the cards right under there is the three of wands and the two of wands. Because now it's focusing on your future. Now it's synergetic results. Focus on the future. And then you have the Magus and the Sun. 
perfect combination. With the magician and the sun, it's like manifesting, quick manifestation. It's like the sun is like, you know, you know the sun. It's manifest. It's blessings. It's vitality. It's good health. It's good fortune. And it's all manifested. It's masculine energy manifested. It's, and the magician is you know, making things happen. So at this point, after that, the masculine starts making things happen. And again, we're calling him masculine or her masculine, but it's not a, a gender. It's the energy. It's the energy. So you've mastered your feminine. Now it's time to overcome the obstacle and master your masculine so you can get out of bondage and get out of this poverty mindset. Then you have um, art. Life is art. Paint your dream, sing your song, and join the dance. It could be an artist, it could be a writer, it could be someone in the industry of literary arts or any type of art. Or it just could be saying the masculine is painting his or her life the way that it's supposed to be painted instead of being trapped and allowing somebody else to paint it. And they're putting the effort. And that was all enough. And the, at the end of the day, putting forth the effort was enough. It was enough for the universe. It was enough for divine guys and angels and, and God to come and say, this person is trying, so we're going to help this person. And that's enough. And then you have, I surge on the uprising wave of love. The masculine is surging on love, becoming one with the love of the universe and using that love and, and being in the flow of that love and creative energies to manifest freedom, liberation, their best life. The divine feminine is the, that is the divine feminine, is love. The divine feminine and God, that's love, becoming one with God. The divine feminine, the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it, it's love. And the masculine has mastered and become one with that, if, for lack of better terms. Yeah, instead of mastered, I would say, became one with their feminine energy. And it's in the flow with it and using that in their masculine energy to manifest their best life. This is a great phase for the masculine to be in. I resonate with this. If you resonate with this, this means your life is on a brink of transformation. It's changing for the better. You're about to go from nothing to everything. And you all know when you master yourself and you, and you start, you enter in this phase of the life, the next thing is union. The next thing is union with your ex your divine partner externally. First thing is union with your feminine and masculine energy. And this is masculine energy that's about to manifest, that's, that you're going to work to manifest, to get, you know, to walk away from this lack mindset or lack period because you're not giving up. And freedom is here. And once you're free, you come together and you become union with, with your divine partner who also becomes free. So, yeah, if your masculine resonates with this, he is on a brink of becoming... Um, for going from nothing to everything. I hope you resonate with this. It's a beautiful reading. I resonated as myself. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.